Hello YouTube, today I'm back with another quick video. In this video I'm going to reduce silver colloride to metallic silver. As you know, there is lots of methods to do so. You can use lye and sugar and other type of sugar. Uh, you can use glucose and even formaldehyde since it has aldehyde group which acts as a reducing agent. But in this video I'm going to do that in a acidic media in sulfuric acid and uh, iron act as a reducing agent and sulfuric acid as an electrolyte of course you can use hydrochloric acid and other reactive metals to do so but which i'm going to discuss more in the continue so let's start before that please don't forget to subscribe and let me know your idea in comments let's start all right this is the batch I've done yesterday and as you can see there is some rust forming here. You really need to uh, wash this properly to prevent any impurity form while drying. Let's place this aside and here is the batch I'm going to process today. This uh, majority of impurity in this batch is copper as you observe and uh, silver chloride already has been precipitated uh, at the bottom. This solution also contains some palladium uh, since this comes from the dore which I've processed through the smelting process. Let's check presence of palladium using stannous chloride before doing anything. Since I don't have any pipettes here, I had to do this with a uh, wood stick and place a drop on the filter paper two drops and uh, here is our stannous chloride let's check this out the palladium concentration isn't too high so let's get a better look and turn yeah flashlight on on the white background there is just a hint of orange you know the test was positive using dmg and here it is not too much uh, obvious but I know there is some palladium and you can observe the color change I will add this uh, rest of solution after washing to my stock pot for to be processed later for palladium All right, while it's being filtered, here you can see on the filter paper, the stannous test shows the orange color with the hint of olive green, which means there is palladium. First pass of solution for, through the filter paper is done and I'm going to wash this out to get copper out as much as possible. Let's talk about this a bit. Uh, I was talking about the advantages of this method uh, over using lye. When you select to use lye reduction method, if, you, if any copper left into the solution, even a few ppms, uh, cause forming hydroxide and then turn to the oxide. It is uh, really hard to distinguish between silver powder and uh, floating hydroxide and oxide when washing but in this method it is really breeze to do that and very easy to wash that that's why i'm going to do this method this time if any copper remain in this solution it will form on the uh, iron you have used this is a iron wired i've used with nails in previous batch uh, with low concentration of uh, copper it's not a big deal uh, iron will, will catch it but in higher concentration 
copper flakes with fall off and contaminate silver powder. So this is not too sensitive to presence of copper. But we need to do a washing process completely as much as we can to get rid of copper as possible. This is a stock pot I was talking about. This contain palladium needs to be recovered later. I will make a video on this so to not miss this out don't forget to subscribe. And let's add this. While washing is being done here let's show you something. This is my hammer mill which I've built. I'm going to record a video about it and here I've made a simple dust collector for it. It works really great using a vacuum cleaner and everything comes inside this barrel. Fine particles which is really efficient and uh, here is collector bucket underneath and output for fine dust. So if you have any idea about this and uh, anything you want to know about this, let me know in the comments. I'm going to make our electrolyte to start reaction. Here is uh, the still water one and a half liters. I'm going to add about 200 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. And now I'm just going by uh, my eyes and I'm not doing any calculation here. Just we need dilute sulfuric acid. Always add acid to the water, not vice versa. Let's mix it properly and add it to the silver chloride bucket. Just enough electrolyte to cover silver chloride and uh, make provide enough room for the reaction and iron digestion. That seems enough. Here I have nails, a bit rusty, which I've used in for the previous batch. I start adding nails to start reaction. Here I have some cut wires, just in case if need to add more. And uh, you can see reaction has been started and uh, it seems some copper flakes are going out because of these wires is coated with copper from the previous reaction but it doesn't matter to me because I don't need real pure silver now if you want to get pure silver you have to do all this with more precise washing to prevent this. I'm going to show you something here. You can see it seems uh, that the nails are expanding. Actually, these are silver which are forming around nails. That's why the stirring is necessary. The light source is dead and I have to continue just with my phone flashlight. I'm going to add more uh, iron wires to this batch to provide more electrons for my silver chloride. Let's add the rest of solution and let this sit. Let's become silly a bit. Yeah, let's relieve you. I fix it. <laughs> now let's take a look at 
the reaction that's amazing look at the gray parts at the middle with the white margins which are silver chloride have not turned to the metal so far and this is after 10 minutes you can see silver form mixed with silver chloride as you see the reaction is uh, progressing with a mild speed and there is no sign of overflowing or any kind of foaming in this reaction while it comes to the comparing with the lye and sugar reaction it passed only about 15 minutes and as you observe reaction is done beautiful isn't it there is no sign of any aggressive reaction so now it's time to take the iron pieces out and as you can see on the iron wire this is copper that plated on the iron in the line method copper causes lots of problem while washing and uh, to separate the iron pieces I'm going to use this screen look at the silver that's great And now let's take the iron pieces out but it seems a good idea to use a iron dish instead of this bucket this step would be much easier while separation maybe it's a better idea to catch the iron pieces using a, a strong magnet in the water because water causes the silver doesn't come out of the solution alongside with the nails and there we go Another advantage of this method is that silver powders form some clumps that settle down very easily and uh, this makes washing a step very very easy. it seems there is some fine dust of silver in this bucket i will i'm going to let this bucket sit overnight and tomorrow i will siphon this and here it is the final product of this process clean silver powder you know you can use what metal you prefer uh, according to their standard electric potential of metal between magnesium, aluminum, zinc or iron in the reducing order of their reactivity. At all I prefer using acidic uh, reaction rather than using alkaline lye and uh, here it is. Hope you find this useful. Let me know your idea in comments and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.